Good morning everyone, Sean Astrom here. In today's little quick video, I had a customer reach out and ask how can they add all of their HDRI skies that they just purchased to the Cinema 4D asset browser at one time. Um, now it's kind of funky because uh, they only let you add kind of one file at a time um, and I'm gonna show you how you can add multiple all at once. So if we just dive on into Cinema 4D here, you can see I got this little scene set up. I'm just, I, I got a plane and I've subdivided it and I'm displacing it with some C4D noises to kind of create this little landscape here. But what we want to try and do is using the new asset browser, which you can find up in here, uh, asset browser right here, or in the standard layout, it's just in the docked in the left hand corner here with one of these hot corners, they call it. Um, so all we want to do is add these HDRIs at one time. Um, so what I like to do and what you can do is you can right click right in here and you can create a new category and we'll just call this um, HDRI temp because I might delete this after the fact. Um, and maybe within here, I'm gonna create a category. Um, we're gonna add alien skies, which is one of our collections here. So let's we'll call this alien skies, that works. And yeah, so if you head on over to my website, seanastrom.com forward slash store slash alien skies, with this collection, you get 10, 14K HDRIs. And you know the customer was just asking, how can I add them all at once? Because inside of here, in the asset browser under this create menu you have this option here to add file to database now unfortunately this only allows you to do one at a time so that was really he was wondering how do i do multiple so uh in order to do that if we hop into this category we just created you need to pull open a windows file browser here and here i have the collection and rather than going through this menu and adding them one at a time i can just select all of these assets here so i have Alien Skies 01, 2K, all the way up to 10 here. And I can just simply drag all 30 of these files right here into the browser. And it's gonna kind of do its thinking in the background here. It kind of looks like it's not doing anything, but it definitely is. And then it's going to ask us version info and some preferences here. And yeah, so if I hit okay, it's gonna generate the previews so you can see down here it's generating all the previews and you know these files are kind of big so uh might take a second but but yeah so once you have them added here you can see that it's gone ahead and created all the previews and added these within the asset browser so now every time you start up cinema and you know navigate to this folder here you'll have everything right here uh, furthermore, if you wanted to, you could go edit palettes, and now we're in a kind of cinema's UI customization mode. Um, we could take this whole folder, and let's say we wanted to like dock it right here, uh, then I can turn off edit palettes, and now we have those built right into the UI here. So I can close this. You know, if it's like a, some some things or you know skies or whatever it may be that you need quick access to you can dock it right in the UI here so uh, so yeah so I'm just gonna create a quick dome light uh, in Redshift here and let's just say we want to bring in this first one here we'll go to the texture slot here and I can just drag this guy right in here and you can see that it's linked in here now unfortunately we don't get a preview in the the viewport as of right now um, I think that's a limitation I think they're gonna add that feature eventually maybe um, but yeah so if we pull up in a redshift render view uh, let's see here there's another that's actually a different sky I was testing um, but yeah so there's the first one in the collection and this is the 2k version and let me crank up the exposure to 2 on this and so we can actually get rid of all this information if we want and just have it just like that as long as it's still within our asset uh, browser and then uh, what what we can do actually what I like to do sometimes is I'll just remove like if I want to load in the 14k version of this I'm just kind of like remove that 2k text and then this is actually going to go in and now it just loaded in the 14k version um, but we have the 2k versions in there 
uh, just so they load a little quicker if you're just doing some look dev and you want them to load up quickly. But here's uh, the second sky you can see. And uh, yeah, so pretty easily you can just get those loaded up right from within here. You can drag and drop them or you can cycle through them uh, just by changing uh, the name right within here. So let's look at the last one here real quick. And you can see how fast that just loads in. And yeah, so pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this new asset browser is super powerful and there's all sorts of keywords now. So like I have, uh, let's see here, Epic Sunsets. I installed a, a little while ago. So if I type in Epic, you know, that'll immediately filter through all of these skies. So yeah, so that's pretty much the deal. If you wanna add multiple at one time, you simply just, drag them in from your Windows Explorer or on OS X. I'm sure it can be done as well through uh, the, oh, what does OS X call their uh, file browser? Anyway, I think you get the idea. But yeah, guys, thanks for checking out this video and we will see you in another one very soon.